Hello and welcome to our show today. My name is Valerie and I'm Cheryl and we are the Ministry Media Mavens. Tonight we are going to be discussing options that small churches can use for giving. We do realize that since we're not able to meet at the churches as we normally do, you know, when people go and they pass around that plate and you just drop your little offering in that plate, we don't have the option to do that any longer. And I was reading some statistics earlier today, and it says that normally when we are in a normal environment, that the giving is done by 20% of people in the congregation. That's what they out said. of the whole church. That's whole just church. what it said, out of the whole church. And guess what else they said? Those same 20% are the ones that do most of the work. Are you in the 20%? Let us know in the comments. Yes, let us know in the comments. So I said that to say, since we're no longer meeting in or at the church, the physical location, that more than likely the 20% that usually give probably are not giving as frequently as they should. Y'all stop giving. And see, when you stop giving, guess what happens? Lights go out. Lights go out. We can't help as many people. We can't help as many people. And something else happens more on a personal level. Your blessings stop. Don't block your blessings. Don't block your own blessings. So we thought we would discuss some of the options that small churches have available to them for their members to be able to continue to sow without physically having to go to a church. Yes. So that's what we're going to be discussing this evening. And so I have two that I am going to be talking about tonight. How many you have? Oh, two. I have two as well. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my first. Um, my first is one that I just recently learned about. Okay. And it's called Push Pay. Push Pay. And that is an app. Now, let me tell you, when I was researching this app and uh, I was finding out, I was like, it's a very robust app. It's a very straightforward app. It allows you to make donations online via an app on your phone, or you okay. can actually go onto your computer cool. and give. And guess what else? What? You don't have to set up anything if you don't want to. Boom. You can just give. Boom. There's a downside to that, though. If you don't set it up for recurring, every time you give, you have to put in your information over and over every single time so it just depends on whether you know you don't want to be bothered with that or yeah. if you don't mind you know doing it every, every time, time yeah then you can do it either way whatever is most convenient for you I can do that now this app also takes guess what American Express ding most don't take American Express because it is a little more expensive but this app allows you to use American Express if you so choose. Okay. I also like this app because you can personalize it. How? That means that if you want to put an announcement, let's say your church is offering summer camp, somebody goes in to give a donation, and the first thing they see is, hey, the church is offering a summer camp. And, and that's can, cool. That's cool. That's cool. You can put all of the details right there on the landing page so nobody has to go searching for it. So you can't say that you didn't know. You can't say that you didn't know. I just went in to give my offer and I, boom, there it is. Summer camp. Summer camp. Also, like this that. particular app um, allows, if you, it, it's mainly for like, if you have multiple campuses, and most of us okay. don't, but you still get to use it as a option to um, make your donations. But if, for instance, you have a church and you want to, you can actually upload your messages in the app. So it, this is more than just a giving. I app. told you it was a very robust app. Get the word and give your offering and your announcements. What? What? All in one app. All in one app. That and so works. that is push pay. Now push let's pay. let's switch over to um, Cheryl and see what she has. Okay, I'll give you one. I, I love that push pay. I have never used push pay. I've seen several large ministries that use push pay, but that's interesting. I kind of like that. 
I'm going to start with the first one that most churches probably already use or some smaller churches that are trying to navigate online, maybe trying to use that, and that's PayPal. Most people start out with PayPal. And why do they start out with PayPal? Because it's simple. It is a very, very simple interface. Now, the good thing about PayPal is they have one of the lowest costs to actually use it. There's no monthly recurring fee with PayPal and the the fee that they take out for you using PayPal is, I wanna make sure I have it right, it's 2.2% plus 30 cents. 2.2% plus 30 cents. That means that when people give to you, let's say if their tithes is $100 a week, the church won't actually get the whole $100. You're gonna get the $100 minus that 2.2% of 100 and 30 cents and that's what you're going to get so it may be like 97 98 dollars is what you'll actually net from that but what makes it so simple is it's easy to use it's mm -hmm. easy to set up a paypal account yes most people already have paypal accounts so i like it for its ease of use uh, for most churches all you have to do is connect your banking account with it mm -hmm. and so when people donate to you that way you can have it set up so it automatically just you know gets delivered into your bank account or you can manually go in there and sweep the money into i said sweep but you all know what i mean um you can transfer the money from paypal to your bank account so ease of use for me for paypal is what i want to um give out there and you could do, they have these accounts where you can say paypal.me forward slash new beginnings church of God by faith. And when you say that online, that makes it easy for somebody to give to you, somebody to search for you. So all they have to do is paypal.me forward slash and whatever the name of your church is, and they can donate that way. So ease of use, not just for the organization, but it's ease of use for the user as well. And you can put that link anywhere you can put it on your website you can put it in facebook you can put it anywhere youtube wherever you're doing your online services you can do it that way and people can automatically just donate to you so that's the second one paypal all right yeah. that is a, a really easy one to use i mean i use it as well um and most churches have that on their website you know like we do at new beginnings right you know but you know people like options, options. you don't want to limit people when they're trying to give yeah. you want to give them as many options because what works for one right. might not work for another so, so you want to give them options so the third one that we're going to discuss today is tidely like tides tidely now, I, I like the uh, app. It is also um, user friendly. You can download it onto um, your phone or you can use it on the computer. And one thing that this one does that I thought was really interesting, you can actually connect this to your website. So basically, you can put it on your website. People go to your website to give, and it goes straight through to Tidely. Okay. And that was something that I thought was interesting. Mm -hmm. As well as with uh, using Tidely, your administrator or your secretary is going to be very pleased because the data goes straight into the um I don't know what kind of software you may have, like QuickBooks or something. QuickBooks, the information goes straight into QuickBooks. So it, it's a shortcut because it goes in so she doesn't have to manually do it herself. Really? So that's a good thing about Typely. I really like that about it. Um, you don't have to have an account again, but if you, you want to, you can set it up. Um, it's really easy. Um, it takes maybe about 30 seconds to set it up. 30 seconds. 30 seconds like to set that. it up and you can set it up to give recurring. Mm -hmm. You know, that recurring thing makes it really easy. You don't even have to think about it. If right. you know you get paid bi-weekly, set mm -hmm. it up to pay your tithe bi-weekly, and you know what's in your account is yours and God already got his. I like to pay them off the top, you know? That's just me personally. Mm -hmm. Pay them off the top is. so I can get it out of the way. Not just to get it out of the way because I know if I give to him first, hey, He's going to give it back. He's going to give it back. And I like that. You know, so that's um, something that you can think about if you're um, thinking about using Tidely. Now, I wanted to, I did take some notes um, because I wanted to be specific. I don't like to be wrong. Even though I'm human and I fail sometimes, I still don't like it. But anyways, um, 
they have a set of fee of 2.9 percent per transaction and that's if you're using uh, a credit card um, visa mastercard so it's 2.9 percent per transaction so again as cheryl has said if you're giving 100 dollars then 2.9 percent of that is going to be um, go to tithely and the remainder will go to your church if you're giving via ach then the fee is one percent and and let me just back up what ach means is it goes through the automated clearinghouse which is from your bank so that means you're using that's your what that means that's what that means i learned something did y'all learn something? <laughs> automated clearinghouse Look automated clearing i've heard ach forever but i never knew like the acronym what it was for yes that's what that means that means you've actually given your routing and your account number so it's coming straight from your account. Bank account. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's what that is. So if you're giving that way, then the, the fee is 1% plus 30 cents okay. per transaction, which is a, um, a, le a less expensive way. So if you want the church to get more of your money, then you may want to set it up as an ACH transaction. And then the third way, again, they take American Express as well. Okay. Now the fee for using American Express, as I said, American Express is always expensive, more expensive. It is 3.5% plus 30% per transaction. And I'll just say this. Yeah, you heard right. 3.5% plus 30 cent per transaction. Use your MasterCard. Exactly. <laughs> or better yet, ACH. Then that way more of your money goes to the church. Yes. Now, um, having said that, you all know that the church could use all of your money so if you want to what you could do is calculate that 2.9 or that 1% plus 30 cent to your donation so yes. that the church doesn't take a loss um, by you giving that way but that is the Tithely that's a way you can give through Tithely which is an app and you can also use that on the computer what's next what's next is Givelify y'all okay I'm gonna be partial here I love Givelify <laughs> It is actually the um, the service that our church uses for giving. We've been using it for about, what, two, three years yes. now? We, probably just two years. Two years. One of those. But we love Givelify. Givelify is an app, too. You can download the app to your phone and give to your church. Here's why I love Givelify. Not only can you give to your church, any other church that is a member of Giveify or organization, it doesn't have to be a church, any kind of um, nonprofit organization that is in the Giveify app, you can give to them too. So it's not just exclusively for your church. So I know our church um, is a part of Giveify. I know our district has Giveify. So when we're at Fifth Sunday meetings, I can just pull up my Giveify app and I can give to the district. When I'm at our church or when I'm home on, after Sunday morning service, I can give to our church. So I love the Giveify app. The second reason I love Giveify is because they keep a record, a transaction of everything that you give. So that at the end of the year, I don't have to ask our financial secretary, what was my giving for the year? I can pull up my trusted Giveify app and I can see what I gave throughout the year. The third thing I love about Giveify, y'all can tell I like Giveify. And these other um, options that we <coughs> gave you may have these, but I just know because I use Giveify a lot. But the third thing I love about Giveify is it allows the organization to actually um, create different options to give. So we, when I go into my Giveify app, the way our church has our set up, there's one for tithes, there's one for just offerings, there's one for home mission, there's one for youth ministry, there's one for women's ministry. So we can itemize all of our departments yes. in our church yes. and we can give to that. So I'll have at the end of the year, just not a record of my giving, but an itemized record of my giving. I will know how much I gave to the women's ministry. I will know how much I gave to home mission. I'll know how much I gave in time. I will see a total picture of all my giving. I'll know what I gave to the district. I don't know what I gave to the boys and girls club. And so that's why I love Givelify. It is a robust app, just like all the other ones that we talked about. 
but it does allow so much flexibility as far as as giving as far as that picture goes now um, like I said it is an app that you download but you can also get a link for your church that you can put on your website and you can also just like Tidely you can um, connect um, Givelify with your website we have Givelify and PayPal on our website because we're giving them options that's options right. to always give. Always give options. Yes, always give options. So that, in a nutshell, is Givelify. Oh, and I and like Cheryl said, I love Givelify as well. And for the very same reasons that she loves uh, Givelify, one thing that um, she mentioned, but I just kind of want to touch on it again, is that if you have multiple organizations that you give to on Givelify, um, like for instance. Our home church, we use Givelify, and so do, so does the Gainesville District. So at the end of the year, it shows me everything that I have given in one, one total. And so, you know, typically before I was using Givelify, I would write checks. And so uh, if I didn't want to wait on the church secretary to give me a total, or if, let's say, for instance, I didn't get a receipt, from a particular organization, then I had to go back through my checkbook and total up what I gave to what organization. With that, everything is there in one place. It is such a beautiful thing um, to not have to look through my checkbook anymore. Just pull it up. Just yeah, pull it up. I just love that. I mean, and some some people, I'm just gonna be just frank and forthright. I'm very serious um, about making sure that I keep up my end of the covenant. Yes. So that's exactly what it is. Right. With giving my tithe to the Lord. And so at the end of the year, I want to make sure I know what I make mm -hmm. and we all know what we make. Yes, we do. So I want to make sure that I'm not shorted God. You know, sometimes we get busy and maybe something didn't happen quite right. Or maybe an emergency happened and you weren't in church or you weren't able to pay your tithes. But I want to make sure that my tithing total totals up to what it's supposed to. Yes. And I love being able to go one place and get all of that information. But anyways, I'm off of my soapbox now. <laughs> but if you don't pay your tithe and your offering, I want to admonish you to think about it. Pray about it. Because there's somebody somewhere out there, depending on you, to keep up your covenant, your end of the covenant, because we know that God has made covenant with us, but we all have a responsibility to keep the co covenant that he has asked us to do. Not everybody does it. And do I think that's going to send you to hell? No, I don't. However, I think when we are remiss to keep our part of the covenant, then there's a soul out there somewhere that we can't reach or somebody can't reach because you're not tithing. So we just wanted to come and give you some options as a small church organization to make it easier. Can I cut in right there real You quick? certainly can. I want to tag on with, with what um, Valerie was talking about, about making sure that you keep up the covenant. And she was talking about how other people's lives are hinged on us keeping up our portion of the covenant. But I also want to remind you that you are a recipient of the covenant. Yes. Even though other people's lives may be shortchanged, if you don't keep up the part, the person that you're really shortchanging is you. That's the only way that God has given us as a cyclical way to continue the cycle of blessings. Sowing and reaping. Yes. You sow, you reap. You sow, you reap. So whatever you're lacking in your life, if you would sow that, you'll reap that. So tithing is that system that God has set up for us to do that. We sow finances, God sows it back to us. We sow friendship, God sows it back to us. We sow love, God sows it back to us. So it's that whole principle that we operate on. So I don't want anybody to ever feel like you lose when you tithe. You always win. God right. is always going to consistently bless you when you are a blessing to the yes. body. He will not allow you to give and not give back to you. Amen. Yes. Oh, we got off on a little rat right oh, 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 oh. But did you feel it? Because <laughs> we was telling nothing but the what? Truth. All right. But that's not our purpose. But hey, we're going to let God use us. Yes. Since he's using us, we're going to let him use us. Right? Right. Okay. <laughs> but we hope that we've given you some information 
giving you some options that will help you as far as your online giving, that it will be a benefit to you and your church or your organization. Yes. And if you have enjoyed the information that we have given you, we're going to ask that you do what? Like and subscribe. Yes. 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 And once you subscribe, please hit that bell so that you'll be notified when we go live every single time. Yes. So thank you again and you have a blessed evening. See ya. Bye. -bye.